Oh, hi guys. Today, um, our quarantine tip of the day is to drink lots of water because water is free. You don't have to go to the grocery store to get it. It is super healthy for you, way better than eating flaming hot Cheetos. And um, it gives you something to do both on the way in and on the way out. So it's like a two for one activity. Okay, so today we are going to be doing our sticky tape lab. And for our sticky tape lab, we're gonna be learning about static ele electricity and the triboelectric effect. So if you can, I really like the uh, green matte finish sticky tape. Um, however, this roll is entirely out and I don't have any more at home. So today I'm gonna be using the uh, satin finish purple sticky tape instead. Any kind of sticky tape is fine, we'll try to make it work. And if you can't find any sticky tape or an appropriate surface at home, um, you can just watch mine. All right, so step one is we're gonna take two pieces of sticky tape, each about two or three inches long. That's about the size of one finger. So I'm pulling off a piece of sticky tape that is one finger length long. I'm gonna fold over the edge just a little bit so I've got a spot to pick it back up. And I'm gonna stick it down onto the table. I'm gonna do the same for another piece of sticky tape here. Same size, fold over the edge, there you go, and stick it to the table. Now, I'm gonna press them both down on the table. I'm not gonna rub them, I'm just gonna press them because what I'm trying to do is see whether electrons will jump from the table to the tape or from the tape to the table. Now that I've pressed them down, I'm gonna pull them back up using those little edges that I made nice and accessible for myself. Perfect. And I'm gonna hold them together. And as I bring them close together, you'll notice, uh-oh, they keep jumping away from each other. So I bring them close together, they're pretty vertical. As they come together, they move apart. Can we see them moving apart like that? Yeah, so apart, pretty vertical, come together, and they move away from each other. Um, so what's happened there is the sticky tape has pulled some extra electrons out of the table. Um, when we shift over, and move them together, they're both now negatively charged. So as they get closer together, opposite are the same charge, negatives, do not wanna be near each other, and they stay apart. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna put one down on the table, and then I'm gonna put the next one on top of that one. Whoops. So I'm gonna stick it right on top of my previous piece, and then same deal. I'm gonna press them all the way down. Okay. And now, as I pull up the bottom one first, and then the top one off of that, there we go. All right, so right now, boy, it really wants to stick to my hand. Let's see if I can stop it from doing that. As I bring them together, oh, they jump together. Pull them apart. Right now they stick further out, and as they come close together, they attract each other like friends. Um, that's because when they were on top of each other, one of them became positive and the other one became negative. And we can figure out which thing becomes positive and which thing becomes negative by checking the triboelectric effect. So if I pull up my triboelectric effect table here, I can see on here that um, the tape is made of polyethylene, and polyethylene is way down at the bottom of the negative, so tape has a tendency to uh, get extra electrons. It becomes really negative. Almost everything else will be more positive than the polyethylene tape. In this case, I did it on my kitchen table, so my kitchen table has like a resin or a polyurethane coat on it, and it's made of wood. So um, poly, let's see, an epoxy resin is up here. It is more positive than the polyethylene is, and wood is way more positive than polyethylene is. So what happens is the wood and the resin on top of it is able to give an electron to the tape. So in, when they're both separate, the tape picks up the electrons. Now they're both negative and they stay apart. When they're on top of each other, 
the um, first piece of tape takes the electron out of the resin and out of the wood, so that one becomes negatively charged. And then it's so negative that it also starts stealing the electrons from this top guy too. So this one becomes positive, this one becomes negative, and now they're attracted together. Um, we can also use the triboelectric effect to figure out some things that are really, really positive. And if we go all the way up to the, t to the top, you can find that we have wool and fur, and on some, it'll even have human hair. Um, so for human hair, you can compare it to something that's more like uh, natural rubber or polystyrene, um, like this balloon. And it's especially helpful if you can find human hair that's really fine. So if you have an extra three or seven year old hanging around, hmm, oh, there you are. Zoe, Poppy, come on in. All right, so this is my seven-year-old daughter, Zoe, and my three-year-old daughter, Poppy. And because they have real nice fine hair and it's reasonably long, um, this should work really, really nicely. We'll start with Zoe, and we're gonna rub the balloon on here. As we rub, hair is super positive, so her hair is giving up its electrons. Um, the balloon is really negative, so it's going to steal all the electrons that it can. Um, you rub it, and it transfers, and then you pull it up, and whoa! We've got some nice triboelectric static electricity. Isn't that fun? Um, and then for really fine hair, like Miss Poppy's here, you rub it all around, rub it all around, rub it all around. We get extra, extra, extra triboelectric effect, and it goes all the way up. Woo! Um, so that's the triboelectric effect. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and enjoy doing that sticky tape lab yourself. Bye!